Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's April 2021 and the Harrier had three new functions that I want to show you with the latest update. They are small functions, so let's put them into this one video. One, action, no action, TDC behavior. Two, FLIR hotspot detector on the HUD. And three, we now have the function for automated nine line information to be sent to our CAS page via ATHS the automatic target handoff system and be fully integrated with the weapon system. First of all, let's look at the action, no action TDC behavior, super symbol from our main menu, options, special, find the Harrier, AVAB. This option here with it turned off, which should be your default. If using the teapod, when you slew the teapod around, it will automatically create target point, a target designation. This is what we consider easy mode or default mode. If you want the realistic or the hard mode, click on there. This means that when we slew the teapot around, it will not automatically update the target. Instead, you will have to press TDC down to manually create the target. But we're going to leave it and we suggest to just leave it like that. Next, by default, we can now see a hotspot detector on the hard. We don't have to do anything to enable this and it's driven by the FLIR system on the Harrier. We can see these V's here. Each one of those is showing us a IR or heat hotspot within the limits of the hard. And we can see here it's picked up a moving tank there, a moving tank there, a moving tank there, a tank there, a bunch of jeeps there and a tank there. It's missing out that one there and that's because there is a limit, a maximum limit currently set to eight hotspots and we'll go through that in a minute. Before we do that, let's just go and pick up some other objects. So those are ground vehicles. Let's see if we can get uh, that guy getting shot there. Is a helicopter. And that's interesting because there's two Bs there. And that's probably because he's got twin engines. Let's just run in and double check that. That's right. It's an Mi-8 which has two engines. And it's picked those two engines up. Now note at other times. If I can see if I can catch it. You get spurious returns from the sea or the land or trees. This simulates how it is in real life. You will get fake returns. So not all of these Vs will be an actual target. Let's go and have a look at uh, an aeroplane while we can. See if we can find one. We've got a big four engine uh, bomber or transport aircraft ahead of us now. We're at a range of about five or six miles. And you can see it's picking up all of the engines on the aircraft. We've got four Vs that are popping in there as well as the spurious returns, which is interesting. As well as jet aircraft, it will also pick up prop aircraft. In terms of control, we do that from the FLIR page. So let's just head down here. Main menu, FLIR. Here we can limit the maximum number of returns shown. Currently eight, a standard. We could do four or we could turn it off altogether. We can also change the thresholds at which we pick up the hotspot. So FLIR, M there. We've got temperature thresholds that we can change. We've got this and we've got size. Now this doesn't appear to work at the moment. This is changing this thresh, changing these thresholds, but it almost certainly will be added in at some point. And finally, we'll take a look at the integrated nine line system in the CAS page through the ATHS. So we've got a JTEC out there. I think I can see him there in fact, a Reaper drone. There, we've got easy communication on, so I'm just gonna press comms menu. I'm gonna go JTAC up the top right here. Check in. One, one, available for task. He will reply. I'm ready. So that's the information from our JTAC. Note in the HUD now, we've got MSG. There's a message for us in this case. It's telling us that automatically that information has been added to our CAS screen. So we're gonna go main menu, CAS. So these are all of the informations from that nine line. We've got bearing, we've got the range, we've got the elevation, we've got the type of hostile, we've got the lat long, we've got the marking type as Willie Pete friends there are no friends near and we're doing an egress to the west no remarks no time on target so just to prove that works what we can do now is uh, add that to a target point so we're going to use it target point one enter we've added to target point one we head over here uh, we're going to get out of data we're going to select target point one and we're going to designate there and if we unpause 
we can see now that the information from the uh, JTAC has come through and we've added it to a target out of interest it's not particularly accurate so you couldn't go and drop a bomb on the actual target you'd have to go a few feet out if anyone knows what that inaccuracy is all about I'd like to know but maybe that's just how the JTAC system works indeed yes those are the three new things in the Harry I've got to show that was useful and see you later